This is the Lilium Jet, the first ever electric vertical takeoff and landing jet in the world. From featuring an industry-leading payload and cabin to pursuing a low noise and door certification, indeed, the Lilium Jet changes the way your world moves. This is not even the best deal yet. The adaptable cabin configuration technology promises users a top-notch flight experience. This is terrific. If you're wondering about the engineering techniques used in constructing this masterpiece, I am happy to announce that you are on the right track. In this video, we will be showcasing the insane engineering behind the Lilium Jets. This is Posh Future, where we keep you updated on the latest trends and innovations in the world of science and technology. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so to stay informed. When talking about a terrific piece of technology, it will be worthwhile to take you down the roads of history, the ups as well as the downs. After all, Rome was never built in a day, was it? In 2015, four aerospace engineers and product designers from the University of Munich, Germany, came up with the concept of developing the very first electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. After four subscale prototypes, these engineers, David Wingard, the mastermind, Sebastian Bourne, Patrick Nathan, and Matthias Nina, eventually developed the full-scale two-seat prototype named the Eagle in 2017, that is, after a series of successful unmanned tests had been conducted. Consequently, this marked the beginning of the development of the initial five-seat Lilium jet. On the 4th of May 2019, the five-seater F-Tall jet embarked on its maiden flight, which the aviation company described as the world's first five-seater all-electric vertical takeoff and landing jet. Like all great inventions, improvements have to be carried out to retain market value. As such, on the 30th of March 2022, Lilium Aviation announced a seven-seater Lilium jet as an improvement to its maiden version. No doubt, the Lilium jet is a laudable breakthrough in engineering. According to the company's website, its seven-seater regional air shuttle service has a market-leading capacity and will be the first of its kind to enter mass production come 2024. Famed for its quiet vertical takeoff, the refined Lilium jet beat its predecessor with regard to access to more landing sites, eliminating the need for expensive ground infrastructures. The improved jet features a projected speed of 175 miles per hour at an elevated height of 10,000 feet and a range of 255 plus nautical miles. Its impressive range will allow for multiple flights of at least 30 miles. The engine of the electric jet is all powered by electricity, dependent on an electric motor-driven single-stage rotor. At its inception, the Lilium jet has been criticized by aviation enthusiasts for its exterior designs. Doubts were raised concerning the propulsion systems of the jet. Contrary to the open propellers used by the majority of the aircraft manufacturers, the makers of the Lilium jet decided to go a different route by developing a new electric duct air engine that fuses with the wings of the aircraft. From their technical overview, this decision is made to challenge physical limitations, mechanical complexity, and energy laws until they came up with something new, unique, something simple and efficient. Taking a look at the exterior design of the Lilium jet, it measures a length of 8.5 meters with a wingspan of 13.9 meters. The body of the air vehicle is made with the use of high performance carbon fiber composite materials for fuel efficiency and longevity. On the inside, the jet's cabin is designed for a comfortable flight experience for passengers with a central aisle for legroom. In addition, the large window seats of the jet offer passengers a spectacular view of the outside world without hampering the performance of the aircraft. The aircraft sports a detached cockpit with a single pilot seat with the luggage space situated at the end of the jet. Uniquely, the propulsion system of the jet is developed by Lilium's own proprietary technology, Ducted Electric Vector Thrust, DEFT, propulsion system. 
The deaf propulsion system features a 36 autonomous wing flap that makes room for a ducted electric fan. To reduce the takeoff and landing noise of the aircraft, the 36 autonomous wing flap will be merged into the canard of the main wings with acoustic liners positioned into the duct walls. These 36 autonomous flaps are further distributed into 12 flaps, four of which are in the front and at the corner with eight of the flaps incorporated on the main wings. These flaps are responsible and needed for the vertical takeoff and thrust generation needed to control the axis of the aircraft. At takeoff, all flaps are tilted vertically so that the functioning engines can lift the aircraft off the ground. In an in-flight mode, the flap tilts from a vertical into a horizontal position to facilitate acceleration. Now, this uniquely designed propulsion system will no doubt improve the loading capacity of the jet and offer payload advantages and aerodynamic efficiency coupled with the reduction in noise pollutants. Not much information is known about the battery technology Lilium intends to use in powering the aircraft. However, registration documents reveal the usage of lithium ion cells with an energy density of 330 Wh per kg and a charging cycle of not more than 30 minutes or 15 minutes to 80% charge. The luxurious jets will be controlled by the advanced Honeywell's next generation integrated UAM avionics system, an ultra modern wire flight control system. We won't fail to mention that the UAM avionic technology offers the laudable services that include greater passenger capacity and ease of operation, among other numerous benefits. On the other hand, the ultra-modern wire flight control system details a customized advanced flight deck that serves as a central user interface for the pilot to maneuver through various controllable aspects of the jet while in flight in addition to its 36 autonomous wing flaps and ducted fans. Now, in a step-by-step -step demonstration, Matthias Mina, Phoenix Chief Engineer and Co-Founder, give us a hint of how the jet functions. Sit back and let's find out. My name is Matthias Meiner. I'm one of the four co-founders of Lilium. And I met Daniel roughly seven years ago when I was doing my PhD in robotics. He didn't really need to convince me to join Lilium because I was directly so excited about the opportunity of this technology and the vision behind it. So I'll walk you through a little bit how the flight controls and the flight physics behind this concept works. So we have 36 engines and they're distributed into 12 flaps, four of which are in the front on the canard, eight flaps on the main wing. The interesting thing about these flaps is that they're not just used for the vertical takeoff, so for the thrust generation, but they're also used throughout the whole flight envelope for all of the thrust vectoring that is needed to control every single axis of the aircraft. And the advantage of this is that since we need so much thrust for takeoff, this gives us exceptional control authority for all of the different flight phases. Um, and we only have to control essentially the flap angle and the RPM of the engines. Um, and that's all that the flight control system actually needs. So we don't have any rudders, any other aerodynamic surfaces like ailerons, um, and that obviously makes it much more simple and, and also much more efficient. For vertical takeoff, you can imagine these flaps are all pointed downward in a vertical position. And then after around 10 seconds of hover flight, um, where we generate the first initial uh, altitude, they are slowly transitioning into a more horizontal position, thus accelerating the aircraft. And then in cruise flight, all of the aerodynamic lift is purely generated by the wings and by the main body. Since we have 12 flaps, we also have a very highly redundant system. That means in case of failures, and that is actually something we've already seen in flight test, the flight control system directly recognizes that and redistributes the thrust in a way that below a second, the aircraft is stabilized again. This just shows that this distributed nature is not just adding a lot of control authority, but it's also adding a lot of safety. Judging from past records and improvements since the initial commencement of the jet design and development seven years ago, we must say Lilium Aviation is capable of pulling off the feat of launching into the market in 2025 after necessary certifications. Remarkably, the beauty, simplicity and unconventional design methods such as lack of gearboxes, foldable propellers, water cooling and aerodynamic steering flaps used in manufacturing the jet give it an edge 
over other aviation competitors. The achievement of Lylam in designing an FTOL with quiet landing and takeoff without compromising the safety of passengers on board are good indicators that would of course guarantee the success of the aviation company in the industry. Recently, Lylam collaborated with the US company, Quell Corporation, to seek additional financial resources that would assist in bringing the jets to market. According to documents from the US Securities and Exchange Commission, the Lylam jet is going to be set for an initial price of 2.5 million US dollars. In the report of the document, it has been predicted that the single jet would generate a profit of 10 million US dollars in its eight year lifespan. However, to achieve a considerable return on investment, Lilium Aviation is considering creating a larger version of the jet. Let us hear your thoughts about the Lilium jet in the comment section below.